to start this recording now, and then I got to sync them. Am I getting you in this? Yeah, I'm going to sit next to him. Oh, okay. So bring that over here. Okay. And I just line those up afterwards for post production. What's going on, boys and girls? I'm here with Anthony Reeser, um, one of the drummers that's been playing with Vino Alon. Um, how long have you known Vino? Oh, we go back uh, about 17 years. About 17 years, wow. That's a, that's a rough, yeah, guesstimate, about somewhere around there. Now, a lot of people on this view, you're not going to be able to see it. That's why we have another camera that's going to be doing some wider screens. But, uh, Anthony is handy capable in a wheelchair. Um, is there anything you want to talk about, like how you like the accidents, or mm, you don't yeah. have to? Like. It's a kind of messed up story. I mean, I, there's no woo is me, like, you know, none of that crap. You know, I I, I kind of dig the wheelchair. You know, mm. I'm lazy. I don't like to walk. Now, how <laughs> like how hard was it going from being on traditional drums with with like the kicks and stuff to going to being well, <clears throat> without that anymore. Honestly, uh, I was suicidal. You know, uh, it happened on the the night I proposed to the love of my life. Gave her a ring. Polished off my drums with a top of the line Peisty cymbals. So we're not going to get into the details on the cymbals, but you know, I spent about six thousand dollars. I made a choice to propose to the love of my life, and I still love her to, to this day. Always will. Mary. Um, anyways, so yeah, that was my two. It really broke my heart, and I, I was thinking drums. I'll never be able to play drums again. Two, I'll never be able to be with a woman again, which both are. Turns out that's not the truth. That's not yeah. the way it works. Yeah, because I've, I've actually seen him play freaking amazing. Um, now, I know that I've, I've talked with you before, and you've, you've talked about how you kind of want to um, give a message to, especially to younger kids, that have, whether they were born without the use or they've been in an accident of some kind, but, but you have a message that you want to portray to, to youth or anybody that's in a wheelchair or that has lost functionality of somehow. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and you can go ahead and tell it again because I, I'd like for them to hear it because it's pretty amazing. Well, I just want people. It's kind of a, kind of like a, I don't know if it's a calling or a mission. It's my mission to <clears throat> like show people that they can continue to do anything they want to do, especially when it comes to music. Because it broke my heart when I when I thought I couldn't play drums anymore, and then one day it just snapped. I was like, wow, I can, you know, I'm not gonna mention any brands or anything, but there's a certain kind of way to that I play my drums, I got my kicks, it's an electronic pad set here versus the right foot. I had, I usually keep it open, but I can adjust that with the, the module, the brain for the drums. But that's that's how I play, and I want people to see that because it blew my mind when I thought about it. And I'm not one to go toot my horn, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? <clears throat> but I still amaze myself with the idea, not myself with my capabilities, but... Yeah. The idea is so phenomenal, and I want to show people that and get kids. You know, some kids are born with, you know, like spinal bifida, you know, cerebral palsy, what have you, all walks of life. And there's wounded veterans that play music, mm -hmm. and they don't think they can play anymore. I mean, they, may, they might get a floor time and a snare and do, and, do, and do this and that, but it's just not the same. But what I'm pulling off is true, you know, yeah, Gordon Old Beach, you know, just simple. Start out with that, and I would like to teach that, but I don't want to come across as a teacher. I'd rather come across as a performer first, because nobody likes a teacher. I don't like school, do you? <laughs> Anyways, so I'd like to perform and 
the opportunity to, to play with Vino Alan is just wow. It's just like way beyond my thought processing, and here I am. You know, and he's probably the smartest guy I know <clears throat> outside of music, even. You know, when it comes to music, forget about it. The dude is a genius. I love him. He's like a brother. That makes it that much more easier on me, you know, that it's really happening. Because uh, it's almost like, it's like hard to believe, you know. It's like, I'm doing this? Really? Because I was going to do this anyways on my own, but but to do it with a, a really good friend and someone that's is just so beyond, you know, he's so smart, you know, just with everything. And then, like I said, outside of music, he's just a really good guy, and he knows he's got an answer for you. If you got a question, he's got the answer. And I'm not going to get into details with that either because it's so beyond, you know. I mean, we, we don't have time for that. I mean, there's no way. It's just, it would take a couple of years to explain that. But. So uh, later on, I'll, I'll take some footage, and I'll show you guys kind of like what he does with the drums and stuff. But uh, they, it's it's absolutely amazing because when I first saw you, when I first met you, you know, I met you outside and I didn't know exactly uh, what you played or anything. And they told me you were the drummer, and I was like, "Okay, what's he gonna do?" Like, and then we came inside and we started. You know, I was on the turntables, kind of doing some light scratching, and he was on the drums, and he starts, you know, just throwing these wild beats and stuff. And I'm like, you know, I played with some pretty good drummers before but this was it just blew my mind that you know he just all hands Thanks, just man. just everything no it really did so but ladies and gentlemen uh anthony reeser uh you'll probably see him out and about here and there um we'll be uh performing i'm not sure where yet but uh, we will find out but it's anything is possible so uh just keep your head up and there's always something to learn so and I plan on doing, um, if you guys are really interested, uh, one day, with this help hopefully, uh, like a split screen, if you know if you're, know what I mean, like and me playing on one side and an able-bodied drummer on the other side playing to a song, you know, a simple song like some ZZ Top or some ACDC, and then have a camera on his foot, you know, and have a camera on my arm, and just show you that it, it's really happening yeah. on time yeah that'd be amazing so all right thanks guys um as always support your local animal shelter and uh we'll see you guys somewhere peace Stay still, because I'm going off of you.